Hi, it's Jay, and today I will be showing you how to make some ramen noodles. Okay, this is my first cooking video, but yeah. Okay, the first step you need to do is have like a half a ramen I love beef ramen noodles. I like beef ramen noodles, so I can just eat this. Okay, so I have a pack of ramen noodles. These are the items that you need. Okay, so you need um. Okay, so you need a uh, a pot. You need this. I don't really know what this is called, but you need that. And then you need the sprinkler, which is like, which is like helps you get the ramen noodles. I mean, when like when the ramen noodles are ready, you like put the ramen noodles in here, and um, it it gets the water out of like the pot or any like that, so it's easier to use that if you have it, or you could just the harder way to do it is like you could like get the ramen noodles out and put it into your plate. You also need a plate and you need a fork or you could use a spoon. I don't care. Or you guys could use it together. I don't really care. I just just like using spoons. It's really easy for me, but yeah. And then obviously you need a pack of ramen noodles. So you can have two or more uh you can have two or more in the pot so yeah here is the second step we'll do okay my computer is charging so i can't really like go to you okay so you have to like fill the pot you want to fill it you don't want to fill it like halfway you want to fill it a little bit um you want to fill it like a little like this. About a liter, I guess. Um, so you want to put the pot right there. You don't want to turn the stove on yet, but um, you want to put uh, the long noodles inside it. Put the extra pieces in there too. And then you want to turn it on. I like using this one, this dual zone, because like it's easier to do it because it's like faster and stuff just for this video. And I and I want it to turn like want to turn the stove on to like two circles, two circles right there. Yeah. And make sure you have permission and ask your parents to do this because you do not want to do this alone. I've learned how to make ramen noodles by myself because my mom teached me. So I have uh, permission to do this all the time. Um, just not, don't do it by yourself. Make sure an adult or parent is um, with you here, like with you in the house to do it so yeah you don't want to burn anything up so yeah but anyways we want to set up in the sprinkler so you want to put it however you want however you want it you can put it but yeah I'm going to set up the sprinkler it's going to be right there Perfect. And then the ramen noodles are going to go in there. Alright, so basically we have this and that means like we can fill the ramen noodles if they're ready and like kind of like, it'll like do that and like spread them out a little bit. I don't like my ramen noodles uh, mushy, so I kind of get it like and stuff but yeah then I'm using this beef packet right here 
and it's so good. If you guys like chicken ramen noodles, um, if you guys like chicken ramen noodles, I like that too, but sometimes it's a little too, it's a little too, you know, a little salty to me, but, um, chicken ramen noodles are overall good, but sometimes I don't like to eat it. I prefer beef, uh, than chicken, but whatever. Okay, then I have this, I have this plate and my fork. You guys could also put your ramen noodles in a bowl, that's, that's fine, I guess. You could use it, uh, you could put it in a bowl, which is easier too. But if, if you like wet ramen noodles, if you like the water to get in there, that's fine. But if you don't want the water, you could use a plate and you could use a bowl too, but I don't really like the water in it because it gets a little too, you know, like mushy and stuff. So I put it like dry and I don't want water in it. So I put the spr sprinkler and I put the ramen noodles in the sprinkler so it could not have any water in there at all. And I put the ramen noodles, I just uh, flipped the Bring it over and then uh, ramen noodles go on the plate. So yeah, then I like use this fork and I uh, put the beef packet. Um, like I put I put this on the ramen noodles and then I just like kind of like mix it. I kind of mix it and um. I mix it on the road. So that's my way of doing it. You guys could do it a total different way, but I'm just showing you how I do do it and stuff, and it's really easy actually. But it's really good actually. But you guys could try it. I don't know. Um, but I'm not recommending to do this. I'm just like showing you how I do it. So yeah. But guys, I will see you uh, when um, the ramen noodles are done. Now I'm going to spread out my ramen noodles. Okay, I'm spreading out my ramen noodles and they're going really good. Ooh. And as you guys can see, there's like two pot pots. You guys can't really see it, but there's two pots. And because I had to get some for my sister too, but I didn't want it to cook together, so I put it in a separate thing because I had to wait for hers to get done. And I didn't want to do that, so yeah, I'm doing it in a separate pot. Oh, now I'm turning mine off. That's so raw. Now I'm going to put it in the spring. your pot back in the sink because you don't want to leave it on the sink. Now I am going to shrink. You see there's like water dripping down. So now I'm going to put the ramen noodles on there. So yeah. Come and spread that. Now let's uh, use this, my favorite part. Open that up. Mm, that's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix my own little 
Pringles. I'm I'm doing this because I'm putting the like mixed ramen noodles on top of like the plain ones so it could be easier. I don't want to mix it crazy because it would get everywhere. So I'm gonna um, just do that and stuff, kind of mix it like that. And the one sweat. Okay, now I'm eating my ramen noodles and I'm eating it with water. Um, and I love doing that. So, bon appetit. Bye guys.